Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Jared Henderson and I am the creator of the Beyond This Place project. Welcome to our first official video blog. And remember, if a race has no history, if it has no worthwhile tradition, it becomes a negligible factor in the thought of the world and stands in danger of being exterminated. So the main reason why I wanted to create a video blog series was to do two things. One, I wanted to start a dialogue socially through Twitter and other social media outlets about some of the topics that you will see as themes in the Beyond This Place project. Um, over the course of the last five years, I've been developing uh, different storytelling methods and running across different characters that really help embody uh, the very story, past, um, contemporary challenges and also the potential future for black Greek letter organizations and so I just wanted to bring these really short stories expert analysis you know Skype people in to have a dialogue about some of the things that are going on in, in Greekdom and so um, you'll be hearing a lot more from me from other people from across the country and um, hopefully different celebrities who want to bring their own perspective about black Greek life to you as well I'm a member of Alpha Alpha Fraternity Incorporated. Um, I came through at Arizona State University in 2005 at the UADA chapter. And since my initiation, I've always been kind of interested in the development of these organizations and not just the past and talking about historical members who make up our great organizations, but what are some of the things that are going on contemporarily that really help aid towards our mission and our aims and for the things that we say that we want to do. And so at this very critical time in which we're talking about the relevancy and the potential livelihood of a lot of these organizations, um, I thought this was a really incredible project to start. Um, the second thing I wanna do is I wanna use this kind of like a personal journal um, to kind of talk about some of my challenges, some of the struggles, but also some of the uh, celebrations and some of the victories that I've had during this process. I look at people who have done this type of project before or similar film projects, and I ask, you know, what were your challenges? What were your successes? What were some of the things you wish you would have done, you wish you would have learned? And so you'll hear a lot more from me about uh, the fundraising um, aspects of this, of this project. Um, you'll hear about some of the criticisms that I'm receiving about this project. And you'll also hear about a lot of the things that are going on that are good. And so that's part of the reason why I wanna help get people involved. Um, you can always follow us on Twitter at Beyond This Place or on Facebook at facebook.com backslash Beyond This Place. I want to try to get as many people involved in this project as possible. It's an inclusive project and it doesn't work without our membership. And so for all the wonderful people that are out there, um, I need your help. I want you to have a conversation with me and let's have some critical dialogue amongst ourselves about our own culture as members of Black Creek Letter organizations. The one thing I can say about all of our organizations is that I've traveled all across this country and I've met people from different chapters, from different backgrounds, and we all have really great people in all of our organizations. Any fraternity or sorority that is part of the Divine Nine has wonderful, progressive, thinking members. And so for all this talk about how difficult it is to sustain ourselves in 2014, I also think there's a dialogue taking place to help us move forward and be progressive in 2014. And so that's the kind of conversations I want to help try to facilitate. So every week we'll have Twitter check-ins. On Mondays at seven o'clock, I encourage you, your frat bros, your sorors, your parents, your colleagues, whoever, to tune into Twitter at 7 p.m. and we'll have like a hot topic every week. So with next month being May, um, it's not only about spring flowers, but also about graduations and commencements. So congrats to all the graduates out there and let's have a dialogue. So this first topic is gonna be, how can graduate chapters further bridge the gap between newly graduated members and alumni association. So I'm interested in hearing your thoughts, concerns, best practices, uh, your own experiences. Undergrads, tell me why you don't like to get involved initially with graduate organizations. Uh, graduate organizations, tell me about some of the barriers, whether it's age, diversity, um, uh, difference in thought, difference in um, 
college experience that keeps us from getting some of these young college brothers and sisters involved in our alumni associations. I'd love to hear back from you. Let's post. Um, again, starting live on May 5th, I think it is, single de Mayo, 7 o'clock. Let's have a discussion. As always, it's a pleasure. I look forward to developing and building this relationship with you all, and I appreciate all your time and energy in helping me make this project happen. Please, please, please check us out at beyondthisplace.com or follow us on social media. The links are here. And continue to build. Let's continue to grow. Peace.